Annoyances like allergies, but also debilitating conditions like MS, have found relief through hookworm therapy. the blood fluke is able to hide itself from the immune system. Scientists don't know how it does this yet, but it could have powerful implications for organ donation. somehow capture this blood fluke characteristic, inject it into human blood, and then with a transplanted organ, pump that blood through so the body doesn't realize that there's a new organ there and you don't have the organ rejection. is not necessarily rosy in the world of parasites, and sometimes they can seem more like foes than friends, or at the very least, frenemies. Probably when you think of parasites, you think of sort of the classically ugly parasites, those worms and intestinal, intestinal parasites that cause all sorts of discomfort. Don't forget that malaria is also a parasitic disease caused by a one-celled organism that's transmitted by mosquitoes to humans and causes more deaths than any other disease in the developing world. and roundworms manage to get into the body by managing to get to the lungs, being coughed up and then swallowed so they can wind up in the intestine where they really want to be. When they're there, they eat your food, they block absorption of certain nutrients. Um, roundworms can grow up to 30 centimeters long so they can cause intestinal blockages. we still have in the United States, usually kids get them because kids are disgusting. <laughs> Toxoplasmosis, though, is by far one of my favorite mean parasites. Now, estimates range from 30 to 60 percent of all the people in the world have toxoplasm antibodies. In 
United States, probably 10.8% of people have toxoplasma antibodies, which means that you have had toxoplasm in your system at some point or another. Usually you get it from uncooked meat, but that's boring, so I want to talk about cats. Toxoplasmosis is the reason why pregnant women are told not to change the litter box or get rid of your cat or don't hang around with cats because you're going to get sick and your baby's going to get sick. Toxoplasm loves cats. Cannot be said enough, Toxoplasm loves cats and wants to get into cats no matter what. One way that Toxoplasm gets into cats is by first getting into rats. But it just doesn't hang out there, it actually affects the rats' brains. causes rats to be less scared of cats. It actually makes them attracted to cat urine. It causes rats to take foolish risks around cats. So the cat eats the rat, gets the toxoplasm, Develops toxoplasmosis, usually doesn't have any symptoms, but the toxoplasm is happy. He or she is inside the cat of his or her dreams. of this, of a mind-altering parasite. Some studies are showing that um, people who are diagnosed with schizophrenia have a much higher level of this toxoplasm antibody. They also show that toxoplasm may cause increased jealousy in men and increased promiscuity in women. <laughs> 